Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sew in a separating zipper. This is the zipper that we're going to be doing. And it's commonly found in outerwear garments such as vests and jackets because the zipper separates at the end. So I'm going to go over the steps in putting one in. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be putting my separating zipper down the middle of this fleece vest that I'm making. So because the separating zipper pretty much goes at the bottom, the hem part has already been completed for this vest. I'm still working on the collar. When the collar's done, this is going to be folded over like this. So the facing is still sticking out. Now I'm going to take my separating zipper and before I do that, let's just fold this out so I'm only looking at the right side so it'll be a little bit easier. So here's one side, which is the right side if you're looking at the right side of the garment. And it's right side facing up. Take your zipper, unzip it just a little bit. Now right now, it's right side facing up because we can see the zipper tab. We're going to turn it over so it's facing down. You're going to take this bottom part and you're going to line it up with the bottom of your garment that you're making. And then I'm just going to pin it all the way up to the top of the zipper. Now I'm not doing it directly on the edge. Instead, you want it about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. So here's the teeth right there. You can see it's quite a bit of ways. So I'm going to measure, make sure it's a quarter inch away. This is down at the bottom. This is also going to be pinned a quarter inch away all the way up to the top here. And you'll notice I have this extra part here. This is pretty long. I could trim a little bit of this, but I'm going to take what's above the stopper up here and I'm going to move it over so it's going towards the raw edge. After you pin everything, we're going to take it to our sewing machine so we can go ahead and stitch it into place. I switched to my zipper foot in order to sew this part. Now I'm sewing my seam allowance, which is 5 eighths of an inch. So I'm going by the edge of the fabric and 5 eighths of an inch inward. So it's just like you're sewing a regular seam. Now it is a little bit tricky because sometimes this zipper tab gets in the way. So when you get close to your zipper, what you can do is put your needle down, lift your foot, and then I'm just going to zip this up. And now it's out of the way and now I can continue sewing. Now I'm just going to be sewing on this one side and I'm just doing a regular length stitch and don't forget to do your back stitching. Currently my zipper is just on my right side so we're going to repeat the process by putting the other half of the zipper on the left side. To start I'm going to unzip this all the way and flip it down so it's right side of zipper to right side of my garment. So we're dealing with the left side. Let's move this out of the way so we don't get confused. Now if you're unsure if you have it the right way, the flat side of this tape is going to be towards the raw edge. The teeth are on the opposite side. So my teeth over here, my straight edge over here. We're going to line this up with the bottom. Again, you want to make sure that you're a quarter of an inch away from that raw edge. So it's just like what we did over here. Now you do want to be careful that you're lining it up perfectly. So if I have it perfectly on the edge here, it needs to be perfectly on the edge over here or vice versa. Because if it's not aligned, then when you zip up your zipper, it might be a little bit off. If you're unsure if you have it perfectly, what you can do is pin it into place, do a quick hand basting stitch, then you can actually test your zipper, zip it up and down and make sure that it's gonna work. And then go and do the stitch. Just like we did here, you're gonna stitch 5 eighths of an inch or whatever your seam allowance is away from the fabric edge and use your zipper foot. My garment is now flipped wrong side out. This middle part are where my zipper parts are. And now I'm gonna take each side and I'm gonna flip the zipper and zipper tape to the inside of my garment or to the wrong side. You can see right here is where my seam line is when I attached my zipper to my garment. So that's where you're folding. You're folding right on that line. So if I was to look at this on the right side, you can see my teeth and you can see a little bit of my zipper tape. So this method is going to show some of that tape and I'm going to fold this 
for the whole length from top to bottom, even to the top of my collar facing here for my garment. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well. Once everything is pinned back like this, you're then gonna take it to your machine and you're gonna do a basting stitch right along this edge here from top to bottom, both sides. So then you're attaching this to the garment part. I'm looking at the inside of my garment as I'm sewing, and I, you can see I'm sewing right on the edge of the zipper tape. I'm doing a basting stitch, which is the longest stitch that your machine can do. And it's better to use a contrasting thread. This is just a temporary stitch, and it's gonna help with our top stitch on the right side, so if you use a contrasting thread, it'll make that part a little bit easier. Lastly, to complete the separating zipper, we need to do a top stitch. Now you need to do it when it's right for your pattern directions. For me, I had to finish my collar first, but now that that's complete, I'm gonna flip this over, look at the right side of the garment, and where I had my basting stitch that I just completed, that's where I'm gonna do my top stitch. So I'm gonna stitch right on top of that, from bottom to top for both sides. The top stitch is a finishing stitch. You wanna use a regular length stitch. Don't forget to back stitch. And again, you're falling right on top of that basting stitch. And with that, my separating zipper is now in and I can continue on with the rest of my garment. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.